And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sivir Sejuani. And uh, that's really fun to say, so that makes it worth playing this deck just to say Sivir Sejuani. <laughs> and that's, that's, that's a fun one. Um, but yeah, this was a viewer submitted deck idea. They uh, wanted to see these two champions together. Um, so I put this deck together. I kind of looked at the Renekton Sejuani decks that are pretty popular right now and kind of played something similar to those. Um, there's a lot of you know good cards here in Sharima, like some nice, um, nice cheap threats to begin with. Um, I like Shapestone in this kind of deck, and so I wanted to have some landmark support. So I wanted to have Ancient Preparations as my extra one drop instead of like Omen Hawk uh, to get that um, that landmark support. Also, Rock Hopper brings the Roiling Sands for us. And then I'm even going to play one Inner Sanctum. I, I feel like Inner Sanctum could be really good with Sivir. Because Sivir, you know, is a 5-3 with Quick Attack and Spell Shield, which is a really good attacker. But it doesn't get through, like, 1-1s, one right? Like, so if your opponent plays, like, a Hapless Aristocrat, it's going to take you forever to do anything with your Sivir. Right, so we want to fix that. And so I thought, like, an Inner Sanctum could be kind of cool getting two lucky finds. Then maybe we can get Overwhelm, or if not Overwhelm, then some other uh, cool abilities um, or uh, keywords for the Sivir. And of course, keywords with the Sivir is also important because whenever you have your leveled up Sivir attacking, it gives all of your attacking allies have the keywords. So they'll have the quick attack, the spell shield, plus the other two keywords that you get from the inner sanctum. So I thought that, that could be kind of cool. Uh, besides that, you know, we're curving out with Ruin Raider, Ruin Runner. Very awesome card in Sharima with Overwhelm. Obviously, Sejuani has Overwhelm. Um, I have a Siphoning Strike in here for some removal. That Siphoning Strike works really well with both Sivir and Ruin Runner with the um, Spell Shields for both of those. And so, you know, you can maybe get some plus two, plus twos for the Sivir and the Sejuani. That could be kind of cool. We got Battle Fury to finish out with, with these Overwhelm cards as well. Um, let's see, one Ride of Negation for Protection. And that's kind of about it. Besides that, we have some other Challenger type stuff with Ruthless Predator, Exhaust. Those cards have been really good. And I, I know we don't have like Rennington to really reward us for vulnerable, but it's just good. Ha like those are just good quality removal spells also. And then when you play overwhelm with, uh, or quick attack with uh, challenge with vulnerable, that's a good combination. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Sivir Sejuani, we'll just go play our five games in ranked. Head on over to the snowy glade. Leona. All right, Leona with Sharima. Cool. Yeah, you don't see too much Leona these days. This will be interesting to try out. Um, I'm going to just kind of mulligan all the stuff besides Ruthless Raider. Now, like, those spells are good, but we have a decent amount of good spells, and I want to try to continue to curve out. So I don't want to, like, keep... Basically, what I was worried about is, you know, like, I keep, you know, it's... A, one one or two of those spells, and then, then the rest of the cards I draw are like shape stones and other good spells, and so then I'm just like sitting with like one ruthless raider and all spells. And that's not exactly what I want in life. <laughs> Thanks, Dune Keeper. Thanks for being here on turn two. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, pal. All right, the Inner Sanctum turns on the Shape Stone. I'm going to go ahead and attack. Because Shape Stone will, you know, for one mana, you know, basically trade one mana for their, for my thing, for their thing. Worst case scenario is they also have Shape Stone. Well, that's a lot of damage. All right, we got two lucky finds. Okay, so the lucky finds are fleeting. The dawn has arrived. Carry her light across the mountain. That's something I need to really uh, be aware of. 
I'm not sure, because that was my very first time ever playing that uh, Inner Sanctum, I think, that landmark. I don't know if I really noticed that they were fleeting. All right, so it already has quick attack. We have plus one, plus one, or tough. Um, probably tough. Overwhelm. Okay, Overwhelm. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's try... Exhaust. Business as usual. Attack. I guess Sivir should always go last, but we're a long ways away from leveling up Sivir. Um, do we protect the Ruthless Raider? Okay, okay. This is pretty cool. My, you know, first time trying this out. Sivir, with that Inner Sanctum, getting... So now we have Quick Attack, Overwhelm, Spell Shield, Tough. That's not a bad 5-3. Not a bad 5-3 at all. Good morning, Talamare. I got your deck here, your Sivir Sejuani. We're playing against uh, All Daybreak. All Daybreak. Alright, we shall predict. I think... Okay, so... I guess it's... I guess it's Troll Chant. Yeah. Because next turn I'm playing Sejuani Doomkeeper. <clears throat> so I don't have to play the Doomkeeper. I guess I would rather kill Robin. I know I don't get that extra Sand Soldier, but I think I'd want to just play Sejuani then attack. Feel no fear, show no mercy. Word to die by. Word to die by. So we need to do 13 more damage to level up Sivir. 8, 10, 12. Oh, I'm one short. <laughs> I'm one short of leveling up Sivir before Sivir strikes. That's alright. Okay, so I'm not killing. I'm not. I'm not having lethal. I don't have lethal on them either. So that technically does. This, so it does the same amount of damage. That puts into four. Oh, right, 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 right. Because right, Sivir has overwhelm. Also. Um, that's gonna hurt. I'm gonna save Troll Chant over saving Ruthless Raider. Okay, good draw. Good draw. Sivir takes forever to level up. No. Well, that's too bad. That was a really good spirit fire, though, that they had. So, uh, need to finish out this game with two more damage. Surprising we're at nine. It doesn't seem like we've taken, like, anything. But, yeah, we're at nine. Raise your weapons, so, 
this one was created by the Robin. They still have a good six, you know, a uh, good Celestial card <clears throat> from the the one two that makes the four through six mana Celestial. A good scene on this one. Huh. Interesting. Give me something good. Alright. Could be worse. So I'm healing another seven. Which is pretty brutal. Yeah, the two the two Sun Forgers healing all their Nexus and then that one Spirit Fire. It's just a little much. Unfortunately, we have to block one of these. Even though I don't want to. I'll take everything. And they're back to nine. This would be a good time to draw Battle Fury. Good morning. Finally. And finally, they did something. Not, <laughs> not finally they obliterated because that's bad. Yuck. All right. Well, I guess they got me. So Larry Sunforger getting it done. That Spirit Fire also just, you know, killed three of my things and saved them, uh, what, nine life and killed three things. No, we don't have Harsh Winds. Okay. Well, the Ruthless Predator can make this 8 Overwhelm, challenge the 3-2, that's 6 damage to them. So, I don't want to meet whatever won't if they don't have anything here, we get to just open attack. Yeah, I feel like taking the taking the Ruin Runner, I think, would set us up for a better long game. But with them having four cards in hand, I don't really want a long game. I'm trying to just cheese out a win here. I think that's my best my best chance. I, I, right? So, like, that's that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that play for long game, not going to be the best option. All right. They'll just double right a negation, which does nothing. And that's what they had in hand. That's why we don't play spells that interact, <laughs> I guess. GG's. Yeah, we almost conceded that one, but good thing we, we stayed with it. They they only needed, like, one good card left in their last, you know, like, four, but they just didn't. You know, they, they just had nothing to finish that game. Okay, Fiora Shen. This is going to be difficult. Fiora Shen always is. We'll go ahead and mulligan the ride of the negation. It's you know great against single combat and concerted strike. But that's about all it does. Um, I would love siphoning strike to kill something, but I'm wary that it will against deny and all their protection spells and everything. So we'll mulligan that as well, and just keep the one drops, I guess. We'll prepare anciently.
We got like Troll Chant to go along with the Sivir. It's gonna be a good Rock Hopper matchup though with all of their cards that they're gonna be, all the things. Maybe I should be keeping the Rock Hopper, honestly, now that I think about it more. Cause like their next unit is probably gonna be like Fiora or um, River Shaper. Like there's probably not a unit this turn, but if they, they did have another one drop, they'd be able to play that out. But they don't really want Fiora, River Shaper, like those kind of cards to have um, Vulnerable. Wasn't me. I was the one over here attacking. Obviously, we don't have a good hand against Fiora. <laughs> not a good draw. At this point, because that card's still not good against Fiora. But hopefully no Fiora. Hopefully they're like River Shaper, more River Shaper-ish. Um, could go Ruin Runner. All right, so obviously we're playing Sivir next turn. And so it's like... I, I kind of feel like we just take this Ruin Runner. Get some more power that way. Combat spells are just really valuable in this kind of matchup, though. So like I could see Ruthless Predator being nice. I think I'm going to take the Ruin Runner. Um, but these these bigger things are not always a great against a card like Repost, right? Like so, like you know, like we have like this big Rune Runner, and they just cast Repost, and then we're like, oh man, that's sad. And, you know, didn't play Doomkeeper last turn, of course. Keep the two mana for full chance available. Um, this is me just letting them kill a two drop to get four more damage in. Or two drop by two drop, I mean two power thing. I think so. I think we keep the pressure on them. Because if they, if they have Shen, just block like one of these twos. And if they don't block the Caretaker. Hmm. Not the best scenario for me, of course. Um, I'm getting some damage in on this Sivir with me. You having to use that troll chant. Both our actions. Both our actions. Um, Rune Runner just uses my mana so much better than Rock Hopper does. But if, if they play a Fiora, I'm going to be sad. Please don't play Fiora. Please don't play Fiora. They haven't played Fiora yet. Okay, good. Yay, no Fiora. So we're both at 10. Magic. Ooh. Ooh. I was gonna play a Rock Hopper Doomkeeper. Now I got a Wow Claw. We just we just attacking over here. I can't you know, they got repost and stuff like that, I can't do anything about it, but we'll just play our cards and attack. That would be 13 damage. Wait, okay. So I need I need 14 to level... 16. I need 16 to level this up. So that's 4, 10. Okay, so I can't... Hmm. All right, so I need all four of these to strike before Sivir levels up. Hopefully no spell. They're not really blocking like they have a spell. Understood. Oh, 
Pirates, pull them down. Time is money. They they should definitely have these two switched. I guess they're gonna oh no, but they're gonna do barrier here. Oh, fight. Okay. That also makes sense. I suppose that could be either way. Okay, so they did have the spell, so they stay alive. They don't have very much currently. I like that. We get to predict. I want to get this done down right away in case of another unit. Got a few bugs in here. A few little bugs. The Emperor commands the land obeys. The land obeys. I know what I'm worth. Okay. Just go with the little stabby thing. Basically make it so that thing just doesn't block very much damage. Balance favors. They do get to heal five there, but obviously they take way too much. So. Alright, GG's. Good job, Siver. Silver said 22 and 0. Okay, predictions available. If you want to use your channel points. We got some puff caps with Timo Ezreal. I think I like this hand. Yeah, I kind of like this hand. You know, we got our one drop, two drop. I like this Ruthless Predator being able to try to kill. You know, like, we, we need interaction for sure for those champions and for Puff Cap Peddler, the best card in their deck. And so we got the Rock Hoppa and stuff. Um, it, I guess it's not really the best Dune Keeper, right? Because I'm not getting the... I'm not getting the Sand Soldier for attacking purposes. But I'm still going to play it. It's either, like, play it now or wait until, what, like, turn... Turn four. But I think, I think when we're talking about 2-1, I'd rather have it in play right now. Immediate puff cap. Freljord does have amazing one-man spells. And two, you know, Troll Chant, Elixir of Iron, Brittle Steel, all pretty awesome. Ooh, I love that thing having vulnerable. This is kind of awkward, though, because I want to have the two mana for next turn for Ruthless Predator, but I also want to play Sivir next turn. So I guess I don't have Ruthless Predator, and we just have this Rock Hoppa. I don't know. Teemo may kill me, though. Maybe I don't get to play Sivir. Maybe I have to Ruthless Predator and challenge the Teemo. But Sivir's so cool. Um, so if I do play Sivir, I can have Sivir challenge the Peddler. Maybe we just have to try to kill Teemo. Do they just go Frostbite? I'm in, I'm in a tough spot. Honor is the rest on a dull blade. Hey, Assassin. My thrush, thoughts about a Thresh Hecarim deck? Um, I'd have to kind of like see like what what really like the rest of the stuff's going on there. Both of those champions are individually very good cards. Um, all 
All right, so we're we're gonna have lots of puff caps. We're gonna have to try to race race the puff caps. Love the troll chant draw. I can actually the troll chant draw is nice. I can actually keep this team up from hitting me this turn. Which that's it's probably worth casting Teemo to save 22, 25. So we save. So basically, I can play this to save 25 puff caps and 2 damage. That's probably worth it. Oh man, we get exhaust also. All right, how we doing, Sever? Twelve? Not close. Okay, so I'm going to give the peddler minus two challenge, and then this. Like, which one of these do I want to give the minus two? I mean, I guess I could just give the team of the minus two challenge here. Give the peddler. Give this plus two challenge to the peddler. No, I want to give the peddler minus two. And challenge here. Business as usual. And it's a living. Give. I mean the the safer thing is just to give the Sivir the plus two. But I I'm not doing two damage to them. I'll just do the safer play. We we have to kill the Teemo. <clears throat> so, you know, one... You know, so, like, two Elixir of Irons doesn't save the team, though, basically. Alright, they got Double Foundry. We've dealt 30 damage. So, if we get a Sivir, Sivir's Champion spell will do 5. And then we also... Okay, we could also have gotten, like, the Fight spell. Let's do 5. All right, not the best cards, though. Cards don't exactly help. I like that we have this right of negation to be able to counter, you know, like, get excited if their plan is just, like, it looks like their plan is just, like, have me draw a bunch of puff caps and then, like, get excited me. All right, so their plan's Harsh Winds. Yeah, their plan's definitely harsh winds. I guess I gotta let it happen. Scared of a fair fight? I don't I don't really want any of these. I mean maybe troll chant can help against like a mystic shot or something. I guess yeah, we'll we'll keep troll chant. Because we're gonna be open attacking, so. Just more big things. I like this. The Sivir is nice with the reputation, you know, just with the <clears throat> ability just to do five damage to them. Awesome. Three and oh. They were in a tough spot there. Even like with the harsh winds, that was going to take a lot of their mana. We still had a ride of negation. We had a troll chant. They were in a tough spot. Okay, Twisted Fate Swain. They're going to be killing my stuff. We don't really want exhaust. Um, but I, I guess I'm just going to... I'm going to keep my champions. I know they're a little expensive, but... Um, yeah, let's just... Let's keep the champions here. Got the turn one Dune Keeper. It's always good. Azir's command. Azir's command. Stab. Got our stabby soldier. Good draw. I've up something special. 
Mm. I guess it's Powder Keg. I'm, I want to play the Ruthless Raider first. I can just Ruthless Raider challenge the Powder Keg and get the Overwhelm damage in. That sounds pretty interesting. Um, we'll just go with this. I'll save Exhaust. We don't need to use it on like these little guys. That works. One troll chance probably worth the two units. Rock Hoppa. I know what I want. Rock Hopper kind of like sets me up with like Twisted Fate Red card. Doesn't give me the best. You know, that's that's kind of the problem with Rock Hopper is the Twist Fate Red card. This is Noxion Fervor. Blocking Sivir and then going Noxion Fervor. No, just just saving five life. I mean, it only saved so it saved them like three life total. Like they could have killed the Doom Keeper and been at nine. Yeah, maybe it's better to be at twelve. Um, I think I'm gonna take another Sivir. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. Oh, would you look at this place? Whispered words. That's a good card for this deck. I'm always up for Who says I don't share? That's bad. That's bad. Pain is nothing. Seven health. Not that difficult for them to do three damage to kill the Sivir. I wonder if it's better to just challenge here. Um, I kind of think so. I think I'm just gonna challenge there. And they let's let's them save it with Death's Hand. Then I have like Ricochet that kills it, and that's them taking five damage. Let's do that. Yeah, they could flock the Chronomancer. That's true, but. The more removal spells they use, like if they use flock on Chronomancer, then they don't have like flock to kill my Sejuani afterwards. So like I'm I'm happy about that, right? Like I I'd rather them use a removal spell on this Chronomancer than use it on either one of my champions. So I, I think I'm okay with that. Yeah, see Ferv I thought Fervor was kinda likely, and so Okay, I think that worked out as about as good as we could hope. I think. Stop with these whispered words. All this card advantage. Ooh, I do like Rhino Negation in this matchup. We can always rely on you to but. keep us safe. Honor is the rest on a dull blade. No. Should have taken the pass turn. Well, please don't have Leviathan. That's what I was going to say, but if they have Leviathan, we're in a lot of trouble. Please don't have Leviathan. Please don't have Leviathan. No. <laughs> we're in a lot of trouble. That was just the the worst the very very worst case scenario was ravenous flock right there 
and then Leviathan, right? Like, that was the worst case scenario. I should have just not played the Sivir. They they did pass priority. I could have, you know, at least had my four mana thing to get rid of the Ravenous Flock. That was just the, really the, that combination I couldn't beat from where we were at. So, it was a really good Noxion Fervor, right? Like, that Noxion Fervor to kill my Sivir. Yeah, just good, good cards. Good cards over there, opponent. You got me. Your cards. I can Never lost a thing. You got caught. Just a, it doesn't matter. Anything that I do it just doesn't matter. Okay. Now it's personal. All right, playing some spiders. I got Elise as their only champion. So I do like Exhaust against Spiders, or a Mulligan, our six mana card. Because, uh, you know, this kind of matchup, we want to play some cheap stuff. Ruthless Raider with Exhaust does sound pretty good. Kill that thing for free. The winter's claw strikes. With the Ruth with the Ruthless Raider. The winter's passing. Claw. Um I feel like that means Vile Feast, right? Like if I try to exhaust this precious pet, they're gonna go Vile Feast. I'll just wait on this exhaust. We don't need to play it right now. I don't think I want another exhaust. I definitely do not want ancient preparations. Do I want one mana plus three plus one with these things? Or do I want random card? I think we'll just go random card. I can see another exhaust being nice though, but we'll just go random card. We already got two combat spells, combat tricks. Going with a lot of overwhelm. Or sorry, fearsome. They're going with a lot of fearsome. Oh, Pete. That's 11 damage. It's been a 7. Seven's pretty risky. 7 could mean Noxion Fervor and Decimate. Man. Troll Chant, it's such a feels bad to play Troll Chant, though. As just a gain 2 life. And they just, you know, like they just play their two mass spell to deal four. My two mass spell would only gain half of that back. Yeah, they can also have the three two that drains, or the two three that drains, or the deals two. Demolitionist, Doom Beast. Unspeakable Horror. If I play Troll Chant, I can keep both of these three power things alive. That's probably worth it. We only do three damage to them. 
It does make, like, keeping two three power things alive does make fearsome blockers a lot better for me. Also, you know, they can have, uh, as we saw there that last turn, um, they can have fr Frenzied Skitter, but they've already played one Frenzied Skitter. But without Frenzied Skitter, having more fearsome blockers, certainly useful. Love the Battle Fury draw. That can help me win this game next turn. Okay, so that was Arachnoid Horror. I'm just going to pass for now. We have two blockers for those. Yep. Just think they're going to have something like that. So I do have to have my Sivir die. Nothing. Sorry, Sivir. I'm saving my life total. So this puts them down to two. I think I just cast this Battle Fury. I wish I could do both, but I guess I just cast the Battle Fury. So it's basically like Vengeance is about it. They would, I think they're not going to have any like kind of Frostbite or anything. Um, I don't think it really matters which one I put it on. I don't think they're playing Vengeance either. So we're just going to play this and attack. I think Atrocity would be more likely than Vengeance, but either one, if I, you know, like as far as like Atrocity plus another spell, like maybe they have, like, they could have like Brother's Bond, which they, we've already seen, plus Atrocity, which would do six, which wouldn't quite kill me, but maybe if I put it on the Ruthless Raider, they use both those spells to kill the Ruthless Raider. Um... So I guess it's better to go on the Sejuani. So I think that's... I think Brothers Bond plus Atrocity is probably more likely than Vengeance. I just don't really see this kind of deck playing Vengeance. Yeah, Scorched Earth. Yeah, I don't, I don't... It's just not likely they have those cards, right? Well, this is bad. Whatever it says, this is bad. Fervor... Unspeakable Horror. Yeah, so I mean, we're not killing them. Alright, so I guess they're not dead. Lunari Priestess, what a great card from Unspeakable Horror. Oh, what a great card. It It wasn't the, the best Celestial, I think, but... Alright, love Ride Negation. Stop a Burn Spell. Yuck. That thing's scary. Oh, that was only a 2-5. Never mind, not scary. Because they didn't play this with Nightfall. They gotta play this with Nightfall to give the plus 4, plus 0. Made, made, they're just not used to playing that card, probably. I don't really need any of these. Skip. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. Should have maybe done this the other way. It probably would have been better to have this thing be a. They could so they could have this be a seven five and not do drain if they would have just done this the other way. Or they just didn't have to play that. Really, I guess really where they messed up is playing the serpent when they did. They could just they didn't have to play it last turn. They could have played the serpent this turn and then turn on nightfall for these two. Mana gems. Boom. The Witcher's Claw triumphs. So that was their last card in hand, was that fervor? They put up quite a fight. They did. They had a really good last cards whenever we thought that the Battle Fury was gonna end the game. They put up quite a fight with the second and third fervors and um, everything else. And all those unspeakable horrors and nightfall cards. 
All right, but there we go. That was our Sivir Sejuani deck. It went really well. 4-1 in ranked. We'll take that. Um, really close games that we uh, got fortunate today. We had some, um, you know, because they're really close games and we're pulling out ahead. Um, I liked our top end with these Overwhelms with Ruin Runner, Wild Claw, Sejuani, Battle Fury. Uh, we kind of struggled leveling up Sivir a little bit. 35 is a lot of damage, so that was a struggle. But besides that, Sivir was just a really good attacker and worked really well with our Exhaust and our Ruthless Predator and those kind of cards. We did get to the very first game. We did get to do the Inner Sanctum with the Sivir, and that was really, really cool. Even though, yeah, we yeah we won that game. Okay, I was going to say that was the game we lost, but no, we had uh, Sivir. Sivir died afterwards but that was still really cool um but there we go so that that worked out pretty well though so some sivir sejuani all right that's our first deck of the day those y'all on youtube y'all know the drill hit that like button and leave those comments I always love seeing those comments we've been getting lots of comments recently and i appreciate that y'all uh, let me know what you think of the deck what other kind of decks you want to see um on stream what other kind of champion combinations and everything like that. That's what we do here. We play all sorts of different champion combinations like Sivir Sejuani here. Um, and it's always a lot of fun and exciting. And we get to learn a lot and really explore the edges of Rune Terra that others don't. It's um, pretty fun. All right, but that's it here for Sivir Sejuani. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.